Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So, today we're going to root our AT&T version of Galaxy S2 um, You're going to, uh, first, what you're going to do is uh, This is for Windows for right now I'll have another uh, video on doing it with uh, Mac or Linux But for now, we'll be using uh, Windows um, basically plug it into your computer via USB cable like that and then we're gonna hold down volume up and volume down at the same time and then hold down the power button that's three buttons that I'm holding down right now and you're gonna wait until you see this screen where it says blah 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 press up alright so get that screen right and you're gonna press volume up alright and then we're gonna go to our computer and uh, you should have uh, the driver installed. If you don't, just install Samsung Keys. I'll have download where you can download it. Um, the way to check if your drivers are installed is go to Control Panel, Hardware Sound, Device Manager, and uh, if you have under USB Controls, if you have Samsung Mobile um, USB CDC Composite Device, let me zoom that in for you. Um, that one right there. If you have that, then that means you have keys installed or you have the driver installed. If you don't, go install Samsung keys. I'll have links below where you can do it. And then after you install it, um, you should be able to have that on there. And next what you're going to do is download this file called Galaxy S2 ATT root zetomax.tar. Um, this is uh, actually a rooted kernel that I compiled myself uh, with the help of a code work X from uh, from XDA, he had he he get, um, he open source the uh, basically the Clockwork mod recovery. Um, so I used that, and I also added some a uh, little bit of um, stuff like uh, uh, boot animation and uh, and also init.d. Um, so everything works. Everything works fine. I've tested this um, all day long. Um, so open up Odin. Right, and then you'll get this com thing if you have drivers installed. If you're all good to go, uh, if you have that, you don't have to touch with anything else. Make sure it's an auto reboot. It's it's gonna be on auto reboot and everything's unchecked, just like this. Don't touch anything, and make sure you hit PDA right here. Let me zoom in real quick, so you guys don't make mistakes. PDA. All right, and then go find the uh, where you unzip the. Uh, the uh, Galaxy S2 ATT root Zetomax, the folder, and then you'll find this uh, file called uh, SGH i777 ATT Galaxy S2 root stock Zetomax kernel. That's my stock kernel that I made for you guys. Um, so open it and hit start, and it'll zip and it will reboot, and you should be fully rooted with Clockwork mm -hmm. Mod Recovery. Um, and uh, you get this i9100 screen, but don't worry about it. This hap This is because you've just uh, rooted it. Um, it's not a, a stock kernel. It's something Samsung put on there so they can tell um, that you've rooted your phone. But there's always a. Uh, uh, you can always go back to the stock kernel, and uh, you you might not get the boot animation that I'm getting because I put that one on there. Um, you'll probably get Android, but you can easily do this. Uh, download any boot animation.zip made for 800 by 480 pixel and put it under a uh, system media directory sorry going too fast but I'll have another video on how to do that if you want cool uh, cool animations let's go to our phone real quick um, so I'll give you a tour of, of the kernel itself if you go to settings about phone um, you should get kernel version 2.6.35.7 max dot kernel um, and then uh, I just put my name there. But, um, and then what you'll do is uh, go check that you have super user. And I put on the uh, the latest super user as of you know this video, uh, which is 3.05. And also the latest binary V3. And you can update it, um, but it doesn't matter. You can use like a 2.5 and it's really the same thing. Um, so that's about it. Clockwork mod, uh, you get the boot animation, and if you want to add scripts, you can add it to init.d, um, the, the directory. Just, I think it's, I'll have it 
there. And also, if you want to uh, access Clockwork Mod Recovery, basically take out uh, the USB cable and the same thing without the USB cable connected to your computer. Hold down volume up and volume down and hold down the power button. And actually, you should do this the first time. I'll have another video on how to back it up, but um, you can, for those of you who are familiar with Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, you can simply go here and you'll be in this menu. Let me adjust my camera so you can see the menu better. So I've put on the latest uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.3 um, thanks to Clockwork X again, uh, no, Codework X again. Um, here you can actually uh, mount your internal storage. If you go to mounts and storage, I'll just walk you through here. Uh, and hit the home button is the select. All right, and then you can mount as USB storage. And this will actually mount your internal storage as uh, USB. And also, if you want to uh, back up your current rooted ROM, which I highly suggest you to do, um, hit, hit home button from here and then hit backup. And you can also restore. I'll have another video on it, but um, just to walk you through. And also, if you want to install zip from SD card, um, if you choose the first one, choose it from SD card, that's actually the internal storage. Um, I'll show you. And then you can also, I have my external SD card. That's actually the external SD card. If you choose that, that's going to show you uh, external SD card. The reason for this uh, is being that, you know, you should be able to, uh, if something goes wrong and you can't access your internal storage, then you can take out your external SD card, put it uh, with a micro SD adapter, and then you can put a new ROM or recovery and restore your phone. So you can never brick your phone. So that's the primary reason of it. Um, anyway, that's uh, how you use the Clockwork Mod Recovery um, and also backup and uh, use the home button. And you can use the power button to go back and home button to select and I'll reboot system now. Um, so you get Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, you get boot animation with this one, and it's pretty much stock. I've tested it like a thousand times already. Um, so you have a rooted uh, stock phone. And if you, don't, if you don't like that boot animation, you can actually flash the stock kernel, um, like stock, stock kernel. This is also stock. It's based completely off the Samsung open source, but, um, but you will have root if you flash that, but you'll lose boot animation and clockwork mod recovery, which is beats the point because um, then if you want to install a new ROM, then you'll have to flash this kernel again. Um, so it works fine. Uh, if you have any problems, don't forget to let me know at the galaxy s2 root.com. And uh, this is my f first kernel for the AT&T um, galaxy s2. I'll have a overclock kernel coming soon. Um, so check back for Zetomax overclock kernel for Galaxy S2 on AT&T. Thanks you all and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, also subscribe to my email list uh, on GalaxyS2Root.com to stay updated on AT&T Galaxy S2. This is a great day. So see y'all later. Thanks.